Where <laughs> was the most spontaneous place you had sex? The woods. Shit. What about you? I would say like in a graveyard. He said he had sex in a graveyard. Would you ever consider doing that? I'll give you the world. Just tell me that I'm your girl. I think we see eye to eye. Hi, I'm Cassia. I'm 27 years old and I'm a Sagittarius. Cassia, what do you look for in a man usually? Emotional intelligence, someone that's not like too aggressive. I like somebody that's very, very kind and likes to travel. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I can't think off the top of my head right now. Okay, what's a red flag though? Like what is a red flag that turns you away? Bad hygiene, someone that's like extremely aggressive. Like we're too old to be trying to like argue and fight with people like gross. Mm -hmm. um, somebody who probably has like substance abuse problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not my kind of vibe. We okay. like to live a healthy life. And Kasia, how are you feeling right now? Are you excited, nervous? I'm excited for the most part. Definitely nervous because I don't know what to expect as far as the questions. Mm -hmm. So I hope it's fun. Okay, okay. I want you to rate this date without being on it yet. So like, okay. what do you think this date's gonna be like out of 10? I'll give it a five. Five? Okay. Yeah. Not too high, not too low. So, Just okay, in the middle. So, all right, so all right, okay. No expectations. Sense. No expectations. All right, so let's go see your date then. Oh gosh. Hello, my name is P. Dutch. Um, I come from Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm just here, you know, how to find date, you know, right. see what we can do. All right, P. Dutch, what's your zodiac sign? All right, so girls be saying, like, they have, like, three zodiac signs, so y'all spiritual shorties, but I'm a Leo, Libra, and a Scorpio. Wait, so what's your sun sign? What's, what's your main one? So, word? the sun's a Leo. Okay. The, mid, the middle is a Libra, the moon, and then, like, oh. the moon is a Scorpio. Okay, all right, I bet. Type shit, you know all what right, I mean? All right, all right, So, cool. I'm kind of, like... I amped up, but freaky, I don't know. All right. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll save that for the <laughs> date. Who does? What do you look for in a woman? Uh, what I look for in a woman? Yeah. Damn. Well, recently, I'm not going to lie, back in the day, I used to, like, be bored about smart girls and shit, like college girls and all that, you know, rock star vibe I like. But um, now I just like smart girls, but you gotta have like a little bit of both. You gotta know how to cook a meal and be ratchet and smart at the same time. So okay. I would say like, just be yourself, be energetic, you know, mm -hmm. ratchet, ratchet, but be smart. All right. What's a red flag in a woman? Ooh, red flag. I'm not saying I need to be in your personal, like shit, like your phone or nothing, but like if you're fucking with me for a little bit, for a few months and shit, and you like, being extra nice to me out of nowhere, like that's a red flag. I like how are you gonna act like extra like good like out of nowhere. Like that's weird to me, mm -hmm. cause I've already been through some crazy shit about that. But okay. the, the biggest thing is when she has a boy best friend, bro. Mm -hmm. I cannot stress okay. that enough, bro. I I don't even care how long you knew, bro. Like. I don't care if bro don't have a place to stay, he can figure it out, my guy. Like, I don't care if he needs some money, that he gotta go hit somebody else up. No boy best friends, not doesn't exist, urban myth. Well, I came in the door, man, I'm nervous. I don't like to say I'm nervous, man. I've been celibate for like four months, so okay. I'm like, you feel me? I, I, I haven't not talked to shorties, but like, in this like, like energy, yeah, man, I'm, I'm kind of nervous, like uh. eight out of 10. Ah, I bet. <laughs> word, word. Keep it a buck, keep it a buck. Word, so that's how you feeling? That's, how, that's what you think that your, the date's gonna be like too? Or what do you think out of 10? <sighs> Shit. Eight out of 10 or? To be honest, bro, I haven't been on a date. I'm 24, I haven't been on a date since I was like, no cap, since I was like 19. So if this is gonna be something, it's gonna be interesting. So I don't okay. know, you know what I mean? Like, out of 10, what did you think? Like eight out of 10 still? Or? Definitely a 10 out of entertainment wise. Mm -hmm. uh, if I act too shy and shit, I give it a five, I bump it down to a five, I ain't gonna Just lie. don't act shot it, come How, on. What, what's your name? Cassia. Cassia? Yeah, what's your name? Patrick. Patrick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Wait, wait, by the way, first of all, you drink? Did you drink No, this I don't drink. Nah, right? Nah, Damn. it's not my vibe. Lo no, low key, I don't drink either. Like, Period. they just offered, so I was like, whatever. Like, okay, we're off to a, a slight good start. But, um, damn, where you from though? <laughs> like Boston? <laughs> okay. Oh, y'all didn't start it yet? Oh, shit. Welcome to Sweet Little Trick or Split. Over here we have Pete Dutch. Pete Dutch, say what's up? Yo, what's good, man? It's Pete Dutch, man. Come from 617. Yup, yup. Alright, and over there we have Cassia. Cassia, say what's up. Say hi. Hi. Okay, okay. Now, Pete Dutch, 
I see y'all talking, alright? So I want you to rate Cassie's voice out of 10 with your fingers. With your fingers. You said rate out of 10? Her voice. Oh, her voice out of 10? Yeah. Uh, just, your just your fingers. Okay, okay, alright. Yeah. Now, Cassie, I want you to rate Keith Dutch's voice out of 10 with your fingers. Okay, alright, alright. Alright, y'all can take y'all blindfolds off now. For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is for one sugar Life. The rules are simple. Pick up fully loaded card. Ask your date the question on the card. For every question skip, the person answering must take a shot. For every additional question missed, the person answering must take consecutive shots. If someone hesitates to answer or get into detail, they must take a shot. You wanna go first? You go first. Me? Yeah. I say that. Okay. Are you a uh, are you a fast or slow texter? I'm fast. I'm always on my phone. Well, I'm always on my phone. Like I work from home. A lot of like what I do. Like I'm a content creator. I do modeling. So I'm always on my phone. So when somebody texts me, it's just because it's right there. It's not because like oh I'm like thirsty to go text them back. Like no. You consistent? What? Huh? You consistent? Yeah, I'm pretty consistent. What about you? I don't believe you, but. Um, high key, I'm not, I'll be busy a lot, but if I really care about you, I'll be consistent. Okay, like, don't. To keep it a buck with you, I completely lied on that, bro. Like, I am dead, I kind of, like, I'm not consistent, but if she's consistent, like, she's kind of pressured, you feel me? Like, to a shorty like that, you can't just, like, toss her aside like that, you feel me? Like, you gotta, like, be on point, because it's not, bro, I'm not special. It's just my turn. If I don't play my part, I'm gone, Nick. Like, right away, really? though. You feel me? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, no bullshit. Okay. I'm not one of those light-skinned niggas that be like, like, obviously, bad impression, though, saying mm -hmm. I was busy I'm right now. I was about to say, the consistency. You feel me? Yeah. Not, but with my shorty, though, it's okay. different. It's different. Would you rather be with an ambitious woman or a stay-at-home woman? I like the best of both worlds, because... I'm an introvert, mm -hmm. but I'm also a rapper, which also I like signed basically off of my life for no privacy. He said he's a rapper. Could you date him? Oh, he's a rapper? Mm -hmm. I don't want to date some, I'm going to be honest, I really don't want to date somebody in the industry. It's just, I don't know, it's not like my vibe. Okay. So it's kind of like weird. Yeah. But if you're with me, say like, if I was inside just chilling, doing my thing, working, you're going to be with me after work or whatever. But if I go to a show, turn up, sold out, you're gonna have to show out with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. be my little trophy, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the type of nigga that gets jealous, that, that says like, yo, why you looking at my shorty? Nigga, I want you to look at my shorty, bro. She got a fat ass, nigga, she look hella good. She came in with me, guess what? I'm gonna fuck her right after, my nigga. Yo, follow her and give her more fans, my nigga. You're just a fan, you dig what I'm saying? So, both, both, I don't know, that's the answer? Okay, both. I respect that. Right? Because it's different, you know? You can't just be one. Because that's just, you know, in-house is boring sometimes. Uh-huh. Outside is lit, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm So, yeah. How about you, though? Well, me? I mean, with, like, ambitious and stay at home. Like, I want somebody who's ambitious. Like, go, like, a go-getter. Like, following your dreams and actually making actions to do it. So, okay. I respect that. But, like, I don't want somebody who's outside, like, all the time. Like, going to the clubs and stuff. <laughs> just saying. No, that ain't me. No, that ain't okay. me. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know your reaction. I'm not. I'm not. Your reaction kind of said something else, so reaction ain't adding up. Nah, <laughs> but, but okay. nah. Trust me, I cheese a lot though. You gonna know that about me, bro. Okay. Yeah, I'm low key nervous, but it's cause you're pretty. That's why. Oh, thank <laughs> you. You think she's pretty, right? So. 100. percent Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Pretty. I just, I low key want to see without the makeup though. You heard? But what I'm seeing right now, that's your vibe. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> really, <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah that's a nice compliment. It's the first time you saw me, I was like, yeah, that's nice. Okay. Sweet. Keeping it a hundo. Do you require daily reinsurance by your partner? Why or why not? Daily reassurance? What that mean? Like reassurance about you like them? Yeah, like you love them, like give them reassurance, like oh, I love them. I don't need like daily reassurance as long as I know, like, as long as I trust my partner. Like, I mean, it doesn't have to be like constant reassurance where like they're talking to me like all the time. But like, reassurance doesn't just have to be like the words that they say, it could just be like what they do. Like, if they're showing up to things that are important to you or like, I don't know, just supportive, whatever. I don't need to like, 
have it every day where you're like smothering me but like yeah. if i know you love me it's also because of your actions it's not yeah. just the words that you speak right it's the things that you do yeah like, you can say compliments but that's that can be over affectionate mm -hmm. sometimes a little like it's and too much you know yeah. what i'm saying and sometimes yeah. compliments are like superficial as fuck like if you're only complimenting me on my looks but you're not complimenting like my personality or right. anything other than that like then like your goals like yeah, exactly. oh yo like, bae like what do you do today oh like you got that done oh yo it's lit like we uh -huh. should do something you know what i'm saying right it shouldn't be like a comment because any nigga could have just messaged you that online you know what i'm saying exactly i feel like it should be like deeper more right. meaningful right yeah meaningful? definitely okay to be honest i'm not i'm not the type of romantic nigga but like if shorty's bad bro but if my shorty's top tier, caters to me, she looks nice as hell, she treats me good, she comforts me when I'm fucking angry, she gives me space, nigga, I'm gonna show you the same energy, but 10 times more, you know what I'm saying? But if I like you though. Does mom sit in the passenger seat or the wife? Oh, damn. So, damn. You're, I'm gonna ask you this question too, though. Okay. So I hope you answer right. the same way. I got I an do. answer. She's gonna flame me for this, bro. My mother. Like, just because. But I feel like personally with me, I'm not on good terms, like, uh -huh. with my mom. Like, I mean, back in the day, so I feel like I owe everything to her now. So, mm -hmm. not all the time. Like, if it's a special occasion, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we're going out to dinner, like, yeah, my, my Dukes is gonna be looking nice in front of the car, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But, if we go out to like a family thing, like or whatever, now I want to shot with you. So like yeah. we gonna pull up together. My mom, parents are in the back, they chilling. You know what I'm saying? I see my my peripheral, bro. Like I was answering it, and then I was just like, I just see like her like body language already, and I'm just like, okay. So, what about you though? I would say no to that answer. So me personally, if you're the wife, once you marry somebody, that's your family, and right. you always have to put like your wife or husband first. Right, so right, right. my husband would be sitting next to me. Now, okay. if my mom was like maybe, or my dad was like disabled or something and they needed to be in the front, then yeah, I'll put them in the front. But okay, like, the... I'm gonna prioritize my husband because that's my chosen family. That's like a new family that you're creating. Exactly. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. I actually respect that. You know what, bro? Like, I think she was right. That was a valid point. Just hearing it out loud, her say it. I'm still in the same mansion, nigga. My dude's going to the front, nigga. I'm like, fuck! <laughs> nigga, you make me some good ass food, bitch. If you make me some good ass food, you might you might take the torch. But right now, my dude's, man. Boy. Stop okay, playing with okay. me, man. Okay. <laughs> when the bitch gone, my mom gonna say. I don't want to flip my answer, but double perspective. No, that's you already wrong. said what you said. You know what I'm saying? That was a good one, though. I'm not gonna lie. That was, okay. I'm gonna lock that in. Is it essential for your partner to post you online? No. No, right? I, no, no. I ain't even, I know she's gonna watch this after, but I'm not saying I have a lot of problems in Boston, you know what I mean? But I don't have, I don't have a, a lot of friends either. Like specifically because niggas don't like me. Not I feel at the all. same way, I feel the same way. Okay, we can agree on that. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Cause girls like to be private, bro. They, they be thinking they low, taking their little videos, going on a date with a nigga, but only taking a photo of the fucking food and not the nigga who bought it for them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So girls do that too. They like it behind closed doors. So do I. I'm not gonna put my shorty in danger. That's just the type of nigga I am. And I will have an explanation for that for that shorty. And if she don't understand, guess what? Goodbye. There you go. <laughs> Stamping it. Should we cheers? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretend cheers. What do you think my best physical feature is? Oh shit. You want me to keep it a buck? Keep it on it, I don't know. I gotta see first. I'm gonna be real since it's a confession. Man, I like that little body, man. I like that little butt, you know what I'm saying? She got a little bubble butt, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I told Brody I fuck with light skins. But she, I, I don't, I'm not saying I don't fuck with dark skins, but she's like the perfect like caramel latte, you dig what I'm saying? So it was like when I was looking at her lips, like the little like pink mixed with the brown and shit, like you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna go too much, but there was a lot I had to say, but I ain't gonna say it to her right then and there, bro. But at least it's in me. I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know. I'm seeing it, but I don't know how tall you are. I don't know. I, also I mean, you could, sexy, could base it on know. my face or something. Nah, your teeth and your lips. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Because I really like some juicy lips. <laughs> I don't like them. A... I agree. I have really nice teeth. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you came and changed that feature, but I really like her lips, so I ain't okay. gonna lie. She looking scrumptious, though, I ain't gonna lie. Let's make up, though, sweetheart, and then we good. Yeah, it's really Thank nice. You. First thing I saw when I, you feel me? So, yeah. I don't even wanna ask, like, what feature she thinks. Like, it's good about me, I don't even know. But, you. You wanna you know, ask? Yeah. I would say your eyes. My you have really nice eyes, yeah. I get that all the time. It's so it's okay though, you know. I get it. I get it from my great great grandmother. So. Okay, nice. Okay. Oh shit. Does size matter to you? Height, weight for a woman. Oh okay. Exactly. <laughs> I mean height, not necessarily. Like I've dated somebody shorter before. It's not a big deal. Okay. Weight, yes. Like I don't want to date somebody overweight. I don't really discriminate with shortness, but like obviously I'm short and I'm self-aware about that. But like I wouldn't date like a five foot three guy. You gotta mm -hmm. be maybe like five, six, five, seven. Mm -hmm. Cause like five three, like that's too uncomfortable short. Mm -hmm. But I would date like a like I would as body type, I wouldn't date a big guy. Mm -hmm. Not you can't be too big. Like just like stomach and stuff. No shade, no shade. That's, what's over that's like what, no. what's overweight to you? Like if I look at you and you're like big. Like, 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 but there's like the fat, like a, like a fat person and like a, the rock big. Oh, I'm not talking about like muscular. I'm, I'm talking about like obese. Fat. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. I'm on the same thing. What about you? What about you? Um, to be honest, yeah. I don't like a girl that's taller than me. I'm not, we're not going eye to eye when we get uh -huh. into an argument. I feel like you're going to square up with me. <laughs> like you're going to beat my ass. I need someone I can toss around and shit. I, like I said, bro, I feel like if a nigga, like I'm six, I'm six, like, foot i think like six foot not six one like just six you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like just think about asking me that question again knowing my height would you want to fuck with a short that six like a basketball player bro Crazy. hell no i've had fuck with tall girls before not saying there's nothing wrong with it not bashing y'all tall shorties always love for y'all you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but preference wise i want to throw your ass in a circle you know what i'm saying I want to throw over my room. I want to pick you up. I don't want to feel like I'm fucking by. You can beat my ass potentially. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it's a dub, bro. <laughs> like you feel me? Like I'm not yeah. saying I should have leverage or whatever, but um, size for sure. No hate to my to the uh, BBW community. I love y'all mommies, but you feel me? My preference ain't, ain't that, bro. I'm Brazilian. I like like petite, like health. But that's good to me. That's healthy. Like you take care of yourself, type shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Right. You don't want to let yourself go. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But there ain't ain't problem with thickness. You know what I mean? But yeah. you you know when it's too much. If I were giving birth to our child, but your closest friend got shot, who are you seeing first? Oh, I've heard this question so many times, shit. Yo, I've actually had a straight answer to this. Wait, is it like life-threatening though? Like my Your man's... closest friend got shot. Like my man. <laughs> he got shot. That's, that's all I mean. Like, you don't know. You don't know How do you know? You don't know the details. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Like, I was, I was gonna say my child that's like a first, that's like a first ever thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't miss that. Like, as a right. father, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, but for your man, so, like, anything can happen. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I think I'll take the son or daughter or whatever, like, see my okay. kid. Cause that's something that you can't miss. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't never okay. miss that. Like, if he said the latter, I would've been like, ill, bye. Like, that's not cute. Like, your friend over your child, that's crazy that you can never get that moment back. But my man's can potentially be okay though. You know what I mean? Niggas get shot every day, you right? Exactly, people die every day. <laughs> I only said that because the nigga that's getting born, that's twin. You know, that's my real twin. But the nigga that's getting, that gets shot, you gotta think about it. He might got shot for a reason. That stupid ass nigga did some crazy shit. Or if he has beef, that had nothing to do with me though. You dig what I'm saying? That's why I really got to my mindset like, my son ain't doing that. My son and daughter, that's a fucking infant. They ain't do shit. They right out the womb. Brother, you, whatever happened, niggas don't shoot no one for no reason. You know what I'm saying? So someone that had to do some bad shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to see my shorty. If you make it, cool, nigga. If you don't, at least I cherish the moments I was with you on this earth, nigga. And I'll be with my son, daughter, and I'm going to go to your funeral. Gangsta. Okay. Thanks, right. bro. You agree with that? Okay, thank God. I was mm -hmm. about to say, I gotta go after that. <laughs>
I can tell she was ready for me to I say was, some I other was shit. I was about to judge real nah. hard. Nah, I would never miss her. I'll never miss. On the record, I'll never miss the birth of my child, daughter, son, transsexual, whatever. I'm here. Uh, it's your turn. Really? I did. Oh wait, oh wait, no, 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 she did, she did. I keep forgetting, bro, I don't know why. She just, she just sounds so good. All right, yo, hold on. Do you like spontaneous sex? If yes, where was the most spontaneous place you had sex? <laughs> it's kind of deep, don't lie. Though. I mean, yeah, you gotta live in the moment, have fun. Um, the okay. most spontaneous place? The woods. So you had sex in the woods? Something like that. Okay, how was that? Was was that like a, that would just, just happen? Like, that would just camp in or something? Just happened. Just happened, okay. The yeah. woods. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it was a mess? Huh? It was a mess? It was, oh. I was like, just going on a little hike and stuff and, okay. you know? Y'all ain't feeling the capture the moment or was that just a little just, bit, only time? It was moment? just like, in the moment, yeah. Bro, that was like crazy. I had sex in the woods, but nigga in a car, nigga. If she be like spit like ticks, logs, fucking wood chip, you didn't get no wood chip stuck in your fucking toe. What, what do y'all do? Wipe the cum with fucking leaves, nigga? She expressed that to me. I respected it. And I know I can fuck her in the woods one day. Yeah. Damn. Fun. I would have fun. Shit. What about you? You know what I mean? <laughs> to be honest, I ain't gonna lie. Ah, uh, shit. Like, I would say a balcony, but I ain't even type freaky. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. Miami, balcony, that's just so basic, bro. But I would say, like, in a graveyard. Only because I didn't notice the graveyard at first, though. <laughs> I was spooky as fuck, I ain't gonna lie. And I feel bad, because I did do... Oh, I can't think if I can say that. I don't think I say that. But it was with, I'll say this, it was with a woman that I culturally wouldn't prefer myself with, but it just made it as spookier because just cinematically in movies, white bitches, I'm gonna say fuck it, white bitches are always in the scary movies, white bitches are always cursing. So I'm like, yo, I wasn't driving. You know where you at. So did you purposely pull up to a fucking graveyard and just didn't give a fuck, nigga? Because if I knew, I would not be fucking and then get cursed by my dick, bro. I, I remember when, when I comes when I find out where a fucking graveyard. Like, what the fuck? Like, illest climax. <laughs> fucking crazy. Cool? It's like, it's crazy, but at the same time, I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. Like, that's really intriguing. Mm, I'm okay. like, I love people that are like, just creative and out of this world. So I was like, okay, it's different. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I'm okay. like, hope you don't get like haunted or something with like spirits. <laughs> it was nighttime, bro. It was nighttime. I didn't yeah. know. Our car was near that shit. And then we're like fucking in the car. I'm like taking it out the, not go detail, but we go outside. And then I turn and I see a bunch of spirits looking at me and my dick and not shit. The headstones. And I'm like, yo, yo, that's a haunted pussy, yo, way. I might be getting cursed when I, after this. That's definitely spooky. Fuck. He said he had sex in the graveyard. Would you ever consider doing that? Honestly, it sounds crazy, but you never know. So I would say, I don't know, but maybe. <laughs> you got me? But definitely spontaneous. You only I live ain't... one, so. There you go, and I'm still alive, nigga. <laughs> would you rather a woman with no sexual experience or a woman that has many sexual partners? Like Kevin Gates said, bro. Like, I ain't care what no other nigga got to say. If she was a thought before, she's my thought now. You heard what I'm saying? You heard me. So, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, you can be, like, if you're my shorty, bro, the more experience, the better. Because, first of all, I dealt with lame shorties. I ain't got nothing to do with that shit. And they always wanted to do some shit like that. And I always just either left, had to talk about it after when that shouldn't even be a discussion. You know what I'm saying? And I hate it when niggas say, oh, nah, shorty's loose. Nigga, let her be loose, cause guess what? When I fuck her and she's tight, that shit hurt, bro. That shit fucking hurt. And I'm sick of these niggas lying, bro. If you can, if you know what you're doing, then I would appreciate that more than you wasting my time and then not knowing what you're doing. The type of nigga I am, bro, I will stop you on your track, shorty. And I might have to tell you to leave. At least, at least watch some shit. Like, right. like practice, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know you're innocent, but can you not be? 
please? Practice but, makes perfect. Yes, yo, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah, I like my girl Sight Freaky. And I don't want to hear, yo, the bros hit before, cool. I don't care, bro. I don't I'm care. Word, you see? I'm the captain. Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. <laughs> exactly, I'm controlling it. Not I'm controlling this. Okay. See, so there you go, bro. Okay. Yeah, bro. Definitely need to be a little bit freaky. You don't need to be like BDSM. Right. But like, don't don't bring out no whips or like no fucking. <laughs> like, I've heard a couple girls ask about pegging and shit. Don't oh, don't wow. do that. They don't do. do that. People do that. But if like if you know how to team off, you know how to give good head. Always a plus. I'm a pleaser. You feel me? I like to give head. I like eating ass. Okay. I'm Brazilian, nigga. You feel me? <laughs> I mean, hey. Love to hear it. Okay. Love to hear it. <laughs> Eat it. Okay. Defeat it. You gotta be with it. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, come on, man. If it's clean throughout the shower, then it's ours. Or oh, mine. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Okay. Come on. How about you, though? What was the question? Because I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Me, uh, yeah. personally, like, I wouldn't want somebody with no sexual experience. Like, no sexual, like you have to have sex. Like you have to try. What well, are you saying, practice. a nigga with no with no sexual experience? No, because the question was like, would you rather like somebody with none or somebody who's had experience? Right. Like I would prefer somebody who's had experience. Yeah, of course, yeah. Exactly. Okay, there you go. Yeah. We're on the same page with that one, word. Right. I want somebody that's had experience. That's just my thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I ain't gonna we lie. We agree. Cause you don't want nothing lame, bro. You don't want it to be boring. Nah, That's dog, not a vibe. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -mm. That nut be getting harder every year and it gets stressful. Nah. You feel me? <laughs> Gotta be good. Let's, let's take a shot first. Let's take a shot. Yeah. Let's take a let's shot. shot. Let's take a shot oh, to the freaks. Shit. Let's take a shot to the freaks. Let's take a shot to the freaks, man. Damn. Open the most recent Instagram DM. Let me see first. Oh, see that thing that's yeah, really good. See first. You must just open it. Trust my me. most recent one. I'm like, yo, I'm spitting this shit. Okay, okay, okay. This is my most recent one. I don't know where I could. Ah, it's just some Yeah, that's shit. not interesting. I. You gotta show the camera. Yeah, show the camera, man. See if y'all, if, if she capping, she delete some shit. Not or not. capping. That was 10 p.m. 10 p.m. You're. Right? What's the quickest amount of time you made someone nut, and how do you do it? You know what's crazy is, about that, um, I do have a big dick, so <laughs> I feel like... Why, why, do, why do you bring that up? I so ready. Y'all already know why I brought that up. That's the reinsurance you're going to get from me. I ain't going to lie. I, I brought that up just because I think felt comfortable. I ain't going to lie. Because she already been said she fucking the bushes. Whatever the fuck. So that already passed the boundary, bro. So I already, like, we talking crazy. Not crazy, but freaky. So I feel like if she were to fuck with me, she would have seen for herself. What do you think about Peter saying he's packing? He came out of nowhere and said that he has a big dick. I mean, I was like, I don't know how to respond to that information. And you never know. Some people say that, but... Okay. It's all about percep perception, right? And I decided to let that be reinsured, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You don't know me yet, but you gonna know. You gonna okay, fuck around okay. and find out. You know what I'm saying? On a girl's behalf, <laughs> just out of like what I've been through, because I've been celibate for like four months now. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. before then, I just took a break because it was too sexually active. But I'd always ask Shorty, yo, did you come? Not no yeah. weird shit. I'd always ask after, and I'd be like, yeah. So like, the dick, the dick is up to that. You know what I'm saying? I do foreplay too, though, so that okay. might be it. That might be it. You but know what's what I'm the quickest amount of time? Quickest That's of the time. question. Oh, under 10, under 10 minutes or some crazy shit like that. Oh, wow. Like right away. Like, okay. right, I feel like that's like a short time. Like, like, cause you know, you wanna like stretch it out, like have a little foreplay, you know? Like, I don't want it to be too fast. Mm. Okay. But I ain't mad at it. Yeah. Bro, I will fuck you for an hour, respectfully. Because I saw the cream, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Right away, that's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, like under 10 minutes. Under 10 minutes for sure. Okay. Yeah. How about you? How about you? I would say like, the quickest would be under Girl, five minutes. Girl. Yo, she's capping. She's capping. You don't that's think so? You don't think that? Oh wait, no. You know what's crazy? I have two things. Ready? When she first said that, I was like, nah, she's capping. Mm. Nah. Like, I was just like, it can't be. But then I started to think, nah, those lips are like juicy though. 
You know what I'm saying? So then I started thinking about my experiences and shit. And then, and just to look on her face, cuz, it just, like, she already got it down, bro. Like, she ain't gotta say too much, nigga. She just gotta look at me and then I already know what's up. You know what I mean? Cuz bitches don't lie about that, bro. I'll be damned. You say you, you do what you do, and then I had to kick you out. Mm. I don't wanna do that. Girls, it's easier. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm about to say, nah, she's bad, so it's like, if she were to do it to a nigga, I could just imagine, bro, no homo. Yeah. I could just imagine the nigga just be like, feel me? Man, the badder, the easier, bro. Damn. Have a threesome with two men or two women? I won't mm. even judge you either. I don't uh. want a threesome, period. I'm a very selfish person. First of all, my man wouldn't even want to have that. Like, I wouldn't date somebody that wants threesomes. Okay. And no, I don't want, like, a third. I feel like once you bring a third, like it's messing up the relationship. Okay. Damn. Me I'm very I, selfish. I, I don't want know. like another person involved. Like, ew, get away. Yeah. Like, go somewhere else, please. Like. So you'll throw the hands. This isn't even in the equation. I'm not doing all that, but I'm just saying. Like, no, I'm saying I that a lot like you, not fuck with it. Yeah, I'm not into it at yeah. all. What yeah. about you? I mean, well, I'm definitely not with two men. Well, you never know. I'll tell you that. You never know. <laughs> Some people that, like man. the DP, so. <laughs> Two females, obviously, right? Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But if you ask them if I ever did that before, yeah, 100%, okay. yeah. yeah. It was all right until one of them started feeling some type of way about each other. Because what I left out was one of them was my shorty. Oh. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I respectfully, when you add some shit like that, that's that kind of, you, that, they you know, it falls off. You know what I mean? You're talking about a threesome. And then you talk about your shorty getting jealous at one other shorty, and then she's gonna think, well, what if I was your shorty? You know what I mean? You do that to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not with, not with like nasty shorties, though. Like, it, it took a lot out of me to like do some shit like that and like pick like females that were like clean, like they look nice, you feel me? I feel like any other nigga would have just been like, yo, y'all wanna fuck me? Oh, I'm there, I'm there. You dig what I'm saying? Like, it, it took a lot out of me to do some shit like that. So I'm not that type of nigga to be like, yo, I'll just take the opportunity. Like, it has to make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like. Okay. But yeah, there you go. See? Ready? Thanks. All right. I'm choosing, dog. <laughs> Call your ex right now and ask if you are a good partner. Ooh. Yeah. Now you're having your ex's phone yeah. number. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm. How many exes you got on your phone? I mean, I have none. But. It's none of my business. I hope she doesn't answer, nigga. All mine are blocked. She's not gonna answer. She lives in Florida now, but. Make sure it's on speaker. Oh, see, look, hold on. Ready? Oh, that's crazy. I should want the voicemail out first, nigga. Your call has been told. You have uh, another one? Why don't you think your ex pick up? Why did she pick up? Because she don't like me, nigga. Respectfully, I'm uh, glad she didn't answer. Uh, want me to do it again? You got another one? Another one. Oh. You got another one. I don't got another number. Got Maybe another Instagram? One. I don't know. Man. Nah, I haven't had an ex in that long. I ain't going to lie. All right, so there you go. Okay. So, I took the dare. I took the dare. I right, first questions? Oh, yeah, I, I don't have my ex's numbers. Cap. All right, but well, none of that? Cap. No cap. Yeah, like I have no hate towards them, but it's like you're part of my past and I'm moving forward, so I don't need you like contacting me. Cap. They're blocked. <laughs> so those niggas didn't do a good job at the end. It was just full burnt bridge. I just cut people off. Like once you're not in my life no more, like I'm just like, bye. Well, why I don't have nothing against them. It's what? just like, I move forward. Mm. So it's like, you, you were a part of my life and now you're not, so bye. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't need to communicate that. anymore. I don't hate them. Exactly. We're cool. It's like if we ain't vocally talking no more, physically we shouldn't be talking either. It's like, what do we need to talk about? Yeah. Like, we're done. It's we're done. Over. Yeah, <laughs> I feel good. It was so much fun. I was very nervous, but I definitely got comfortable. You got comfortable, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So you rated his voice a uh, five out of 10? Yeah, right. Yeah. What, so. so. what do you think now? What do you think about the whole date in general? Like. Was it cool? Was it good? Yeah, I just thought it was fun. It was that just was like fun. really lighthearted. Like it wasn't like my typical dates, but mm -hmm. it was fun. Okay. Give a number out of 10, like the whole date out of 10. What do you think? Does it match five mm -hmm. out of 10 or is it higher or lower? 
I would say a seven only because like I never talk too much about sex like on the first day. Like mm -hmm. it's always about like just getting to know them as a person mm -hmm. a little bit like that. Yeah. But it wasn't bad. It was still fun. Oh. After that day, bro, I feel exquisite. You feel exquisite? Okay, okay. Immaculate. Word, okay. <laughs> yeah, I seen you I seen you gave her uh eight out of ten, her voice, right? Yeah. You gave it an eight out of ten. So yeah. what you what you think what you think now that you spoke to her and everything? What you think about it? To be honest, bro, the personality is I'm not saying it's out of this world, but it's definitely like I give her personality a nine out of ten. Like okay. what I said, like she wasn't she wasn't like dodging all the freaky questions. Like mm -hmm. she was smart, but she also She's experienced, you feel me? Like, she has some freaky shit going on. Like, okay. you know what I mean? Well, all right, so say P. Dutch wanted to take you out on another date. Would you be open to it? I wouldn't say yes right away, because I'd need to talk to him a little bit more. He's actually really not bad looking. I want to know what those teeth look like before I even say, like, okay. Mm. Yeah, I want to know what the teeth look like. Okay, so all right, like, so you want to see, okay, without the grills, you want to see yeah, how his like, teeth is. Say, if she was interested in going on another date, would you be open to that? 100%. 100%? All right. 100%. So, all right. So, say, all right, so y'all going on another date, would you be willing to, like, trick or split? Like, would you be willing to pay for a whole date? Or are you trying to, she needs to pay for her meal and you pay for yours? You wouldn't, like, say, like, y'all met up. You wouldn't obviously pay for any no. anything he does, right? No. All right. I got to pay for the whole thing. He is going to pay He's going date. to. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm not. Okay. If you're asking a girl, yo, you want to go on a date with me? And then you feel like it's too pressed about the pockets. First of all, homeboy, you should have looked at the menu before you fucking left the house. She brings up a restaurant, ask her a few restaurants. You know what I'm saying? Pick out those fucking three. Say he goes on another date and takes off his grills, like, and actually tries to talk to you as like a person. You know? I need to see the grills before the, the date. Grill? Okay. I need to see <laughs> the grills right. before the date. All right, bet.